Now I'm going to do another little experiment with the amplifier I've built. I've got it connected up to this little tiny speaker here. This is a 10 watt speaker. And I'm powering the amplifier on this transformer here. This is a completely unregulated supply. Just from diodes and the, well, just the transformer diodes and capacitors. That's feeding this amplifier with about 32 volts. Got 16 volts on the negative rail and 16 volts on the positive rail. So that's a total of 32 volts. I've got some music ready to play on the computer. There it goes. That one's got quite a lot of bass on it and I've put the bass boost on so we're going to get quite a lot of bass out of that. And the reason I'm using the camera's microphone is because the signal from the computer first goes into the reel-to-reel -reel, then into the tape deck and then into the amplifier because oh, there it is. Because as you probably know I've got an output level control here which I can use as a volume control. So, I'm going to start this up. Let's see how much we can make that speaker move. Let's get it to the start. That's near enough. Right, we've got a little bit of sound coming out of this speaker. Now I can put the camera right up close to it. If I can. I'll put it on its side so you can see it vibrating more easily. I'll put the camera's light on. Right, let's crank it up. Overdrive on that little speaker, I can tell. Sure, we had a little bit of distortion there. I'm sure that's the speaker distorting because it's being overdriven by the amplifier. So, if this thing can overdrive a 10 watt speaker being just powered from 32 volts, I think we are onto something here. Let's try to put a poor, sorry for itself speaker out of its misery. This thing really is beyond repair. You can see the cones all torn and everything. So let's make this speaker play its last song. I think I just blew it. 